Hello my sweet friends, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I think I just got some packages. <gasps> Yay! Let's see what we got. I kind of already know what I got, but you guys don't. These are from Amazon, they're little espresso cups, I guess. But I just wanted to get them as like a coffee shot glass. Does that make sense? I'll probably show you how I use them later in the week, but they they look very aesthetic. But yeah, you put them under the coffee machine, it pours a shot in there, and then I'll pour the shot into my like ice latte because the actual cups that I use for my ice lattes don't fit under the coffee machine. Does that make sense? I honestly didn't know these existed and then Georgia told me about them, so I got some. And then this one is probably a little bit more exciting. It's from my protein. This is not sponsored, but I ordered some more stuff from them. I'm really excited about it. Who would have thought that I would be excited about protein? Oh, that's right. Okay, you guys know that I love my blue raspberry pre-workout from my protein. So I got a new one to try out. This is the cola flavor. I freaking love coconut sugar. So let's hope that it tastes somewhat similar, but we'll see. And then I also got another pre. This one is orange, mango, and passion fruit. That sounds so good. I'm not even going to the gym today. Now I just want to try them out. We've also got, ah, that is huge, <laughs> protein hot chocolate. So this has 14 grams of protein in each serving, which is not like a crazy amount of protein, but it's definitely helpful to up your protein intake. And lately I've just been craving something sweet after dinner. So I thought that could be a really cool option. And then oh, I'm excited about this. I think this is what I'm most excited about. Actually kind of excited about everything, um, but this is, clear protein so personally i don't like drinking protein powder just mixed with water like a protein shake in that way i much prefer to mix my proteins in with smoothies or oats or something like that however i have found that i like drinking clear protein with just water i don't know why that's just my preference i have another one that's like a lemon lime flavor from my vegan which is like a brand under my protein if you didn't know but this one is rainbow candy flavored and that just sounds so good i'm hoping it might taste like pre-workout because i love drinking pre-workout like it just tastes so good to me if i could drink it just like as a beverage i probably would so i'm hoping this might be kind of similar and this has 20 grams of protein in each serving which is pretty good but rainbow candy just sounds so yummy but i'll have to give you an update once i've tried all this stuff it's time for my midday coffee i snapchatted georgia told her that i got these little cups she said that hers only holds one shot each my toast just popped she said that hers only holds one shot each so she uses both at the same time so i'm gonna try that out and we'll see how it goes and yes i do need to clean the machine i don't want to hear about it <laughs> Do you guys reckon that could fit in one glass? How cute do those little cups look? <laughs> Anyone want a coffee? Just poured one of the shots into the other cup. So two shots fits perfectly. Good to know. Let's make my iced latte. So it's 7.45 p.m. We've had dinner, done the washing up. I'm in my pajamas, done my skincare, all of that sort of stuff. But I just am craving something sweet. So I decided I'd make some muffins. And then I was like, can I make protein muffins. I feel like I've just been adding protein powder to everything recently because I didn't realize how many things you can add it to. And I just want to kind of test it out. So I'm going to do a few with this one, which is chocolate brownie flavored. And then I also want to do some with just like vanilla protein because it just kind of sounds like it would be good. I'll give you guys an update. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Here's how they went. We have three vanilla and three choc brownie, at least like in terms of protein flavors. And they've both got choc chips because that's just essential. But obviously we still need to bake them. Also, I just did a half batch because I didn't want to make too many. So that's why there's only six. All right, they're definitely not the prettiest muffins I've ever seen. <laughs> the lopsided peak. I can't. <laughs> They're all a little lopsided, honestly, but oh well. Hopefully they taste good. I'm gonna let them cool down. Vanilla. Mmm, that is so good. And then chocolate. It's good, but it's not as chocolatey as I was hoping. I probably needed to also add cocoa or something. I think the vanilla is my favorite. And if you're asking how I made them, I literally just looked up basic muffin recipe and then I just added some protein powder and then I did end up adding a little bit more milk since I added more dry ingredients just to even it out. So easy. And now you just have a little bit of extra protein. Not really a lot, but I think it tastes good. I was going to talk. 
talk about. I'm just listening. <laughs> And they're like, how are you? I was like, well, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> we got our coffee. What? You can't have this, but... <laughs> morning besties happy Thursday I think I'm gonna try one of my new pre-workouts today orange mango and passion fruit is what I'm feeling today I'm actually really excited to try the cola one as well but this is just what I'm kind of vibing right now I think it's just after 11 right now you guys saw I've just been kind of sitting at my computer all morning just doing admin kind of stuff editing emails all of that but I'm gonna head to the gym and do a leg session I've actually had two days off the gym um not really for any other reason besides that I've been busy and just like doing all stuff. Finding the scoop in these. <coughs> I always do that. Finding the scoop is always the hardest part. Here we go. I feel like Maya Knight when she's making babas. If you know, you know. Probably only want half a scoop today. Sometimes I just feel like I get a bit like jittery and anxious if I have a full scoop. So I just need to be conscious of my caffeine intake. Especially because I already had a coffee this morning. Why can I not do anything without making a mess? Someone explain. I don't know. Official taste test. That's good. That's really good. Yum! It kind of tastes like those Bundaberg drinks, the passion fruit one, but I'm gonna drink this and head to the gym. Just got home, had such a good session. I feel like I really pushed myself today and I felt it. I've been tracking all of my monthly goals in my bullet journal in a habit tracker and it has been so motivating for me. There's this book that explains this better but I forget exactly how to explain it. I'm not going to say it as eloquently as the book did. But according to this book, there are four types of people and once you learn which type of person you are, like which category almost you fit into in this certain area, it kind of teaches you how you can be the most productive. So I was just editing this part of the video and I feel like I made zero sense. So future Rachel is here to explain myself a little bit better. I went back and found my notes that I wrote about this specific book that I was trying to talk to you guys about so that I can explain myself better because I am a nerd and I do write notes on books that I read. Anyway, there is this thing called the four tendencies and everyone will naturally fall into one of these four groups. And you can do a quiz. I'll try and remember to link it down below that will tell you which one of these four things you are. So there's the upholder, which meets our expectations and inner expectations the obliger which meets outer expectations but resists in expectations so they like to meet the expectations that other people place on them but they kind of resist what their brain wants them to do there's the questioner that resists outer expectations but meets inner expectations so unless they want to do it for themselves they're probably not going to do it they don't like being told what to do from other people or they don't like meeting the expectations of other people and then there's the rebel which resists outer expectations and resists inner expectations and so when you've done this quiz and work out which of these four categories you fall into it'll help you to recognize your strengths and your weaknesses and you can 
can work according to those. So I actually only really wrote notes about the category that I fall into, which is the upholder, which means I do what others expect of me and what I expect from myself. Strategies that may help me is scheduling difficult things into my day or making a chart that I can cross off. So to-do lists are really helpful for me. Habit tracker is really helpful for me. If there's something that I don't want to do, writing it at the top of my to-do list and trying to work in order is a really helpful thing for me to do. But I'm pretty sure when you do the test online, it kind of tells you things or strategies that will help you depending on which category that you fall into. But I just found that whole concept of things very interesting and very helpful. So if you want to look more about different types of motivation and kind of just your natural tendency, I guess, I'll try and link the book down below and also the test down below. Anyway, I feel like this turned into like a learning lecture. That wasn't my intention, but I just made absolutely zero sense in this part of the video. So I had to butt in a little bit. Anyway, I found that to-do lists and habit trackers are probably the thing that helps me the most in terms of starting a new habit or a new routine or incorporating new things into my days and just getting stuff done, being the most productive that I can be. And one of the things on my habit tracker this month and last month actually as well, wow. I've been doing a habit tracker for like probably a year now maybe over that actually. Anyway, has been to drink at least two liters of water and this is one liter. This is from Decision Made, if you're wondering. I freaking love this water bottle. My favorite water bottle I've ever owned, but I also really love my wildflower one, um, which has like a different lid. It doesn't have a straw lid. But yeah, these one liter each. So I've been trying to drink at least two of these a day. I never used to be someone who drank a lot of water. So two liters was a big change for me, but I think now I've kind of got that down pat. So I want to try and drink like 2.5 or like 3 litres next month, I think, because I think that's probably even better for you. I think 3 litres is the recommended. Is that correct? I could be wrong. I feel like I shouldn't be feeding you guys information when I'm not sure of it myself. But I honestly think that drinking 2 litres of water a day has been one of the things that has helped my skin clear up. And I did not expect that. I didn't start trying to drink more water to clear up my skin. I just basically did it as like an overall, this is good for you kind of thing. You should probably look after yourself and hydrate yourself. But as soon as I started drinking more water, my skin cleared up heaps. And I'm not saying that's the only thing that worked. I think it was a mixture of lots of different things and just time and learning my skin and learning my body. But if you do have a problem with your skin or with acne, I definitely recommend upping your water intake. I can't promise you it's gonna change things, but I don't think it could do anything bad for you at all. Like it's only gonna help, if anything. So anyway, rant over. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I think I have leftovers from the other night. Some stir fry. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really feel like eating it, but if I don't eat it, it's gonna go bad. So we should probably have that. Also, before anyone asks, this is from Amazon, the glass. Again, I'll probably only do like half a scoop, two thirds of a scoop. Oh, that looks so interesting. It smells so much like cola. It kind of smells like vanilla Coke a little bit, I feel like. They only had the 500 gram bag in this one. Usually when I haven't tried something before, I'll get like the smaller size just in case I don't like it. But I got the bigger one in this, so let's hope I like it. That's quite good. That is quite good. I would say it tastes like vanilla Coke. If you have this, tell me if you agree. Like flat vanilla Coke, obviously, because it's just like water. It's not a fizzy drink. That's so easy to drink as well. I had a few of you DM me on Instagram asking about the pre-workout. And now that I've tried these flavors as well, here's my ranking system, I think. I think I still would put blue raspberry on top, but that's because I have such a sweet tooth. If you are not a sweet tooth, please do not get the blue raspberry because it's extremely sweet, like blue clouds. That's kind of the vibe. Then I think I would put the orange passion fruit mango second, but I would say this and that one are almost tied. So I think I would put this one third, but I think that's because I would normally go for a fruity kind of flavor. The orange passion fruit mango is definitely not as sweet as the blue raspberry, which I think would be a lot better if you're not someone who wants something like in your face sweet. And then I would probably put the fruit punch in fourth place. I still really enjoy all of them to be completely honest and I would drink all of them, but I think that would be how I rate them personally. And if you're trying to choose between flavors, 
I would say. Blue raspberry is like a blue cloud, like the lollies. This one tastes like flat vanilla Coke. The orange mango passion fruit tastes like the Bundaberg passion fruit drinks, if that is what you would prefer. And the fruit punch tastes like fruit tingle lollies. So whatever is your preference out of those things, I think should be how you choose your flavor of pre-workout. Or just get all of them, like me. And then you can change it up depending on your mood. Again, this is not sponsored, I just enjoy this stuff. Just got home. I actually ran to Kmart on the way home to pick up some stuff for our lovely pantry here. As you know, she's a bit small. Very narrow, but quite deep. In my Kmart haul last week, I showed that I got some of these tubs and they're perfect. I can fit two on each shelf. So I went back and I got six more because I also think they'll work well in another area of our house. And then the containers that I've already got, I think I'm actually just gonna move to a different area and re repurpose. I also got a couple containers. These are the ones that I got. I got them for our like breakfasty bits. So one for rolled oats, one for quick oats, and one for wheat bix because those are the things that we like constantly have stocked at our house. So I'm gonna wash these out and I'm going to do a bit of reorganization. I should probably also have a shower myself while I'm at it. Okay, I think the plan is I'm gonna like bring everything out and put it in the bin that makes sense so that each thing is with something similar and each bin kind of has, or tub, whatever you wanna call it, has a bit of a theme, I guess, or just makes sense, you know? Like have all the cans together, all the sauces together, all the pastas together, whatever it may be, and then I'll put it back in. That's just how my brain seems to think it'll work best, so let's go. I'm done and that literally took me 10 minutes so up the top look okay disclaimer it's not perfect <laughs> we're working with what we've got and this all makes sense to me and that's kind of what's important so maybe you think I should have done it differently but I'm happy with how it is um, up the top I have like breakfast spreads like peanut butter and honey and stuff then we have rice breadcrumbs there's panko breadcrumbs up the top there and then we have the breakfasty bits that I showed you. And then I also have my extra like backstock almond milk. This is a bit random, but it fits and it works. So I'm just going to go with it. We just have our kitchen scales, all of our cling wrap, baking paper stuff, muesli, granola, whatever you want to call it, baking powder, baking soda. This container is from Kmart. These jars are from Target. And then we have all of the tubs and I'm so happy with how this turned out. So in this one, I've just got snacks. So I've got some like tortilla chips and saladas in here. We have kind of just like meal bases and things. So I have some like instant rice there, some packet meal bases, some curry paste, some noodles, stir fry noodles up the back, some instant fried rice, random stuff. Below that we have all of our oils, vinegars, saucy type things, and then some stock up the front here, and then all of our kind of back stock pasta. And then down the bottom we just have potatoes and onions, and then any of our canned goods, like tuna, black beans, coconut cream, all of that jazz. And I'm really happy. I feel like it just works and it fits, which is really nice. After I cleaned out the pantry, I ended up going on a bit of a reorganizing spree. And I wish I had shown you the befores before I actually tidied them, but I'll show you what the afters look like regardless. Under our sink was an absolute mess. I just hadn't organized it since we moved in. And look, ignore that, because I still have to go through all of that stuff. It's all just like manuals and stuff that come with appliances. But apart from that, we just have paper towel, a bunch of cleaning products, and like sponges, garbage bags 
dishwashing liquids, stuff like that. And then some mixing bowls because they literally don't fit anywhere else in our small kitchen. And um, accessories for our Nutribullet. Again, don't really fit anywhere else, but that just is so much better than it was. And we also have this like second pantry, I like to call it, in our like dining area, but our kitchen is right through here. So it's nice because it's not in the way of anything, but it's still is close enough to the kitchen to be practical. But this is where we keep kind of a random assortment of things. Up the top we have all of our proteins. Liam's stuff is there. So he has like pre-creatine, stuff like that. Those are all my favorite proteins. And then I have some other ones behind there that I don't use as often. Then on the next shelf, I just have a bunch of like samples and things that I get sent sometimes. And then I have my clear protein. This is kind of like the random bin. But I have my clear protein my BCAAs and then my maca powder back here and then I have all of my pre-workouts which is like my favorite bin ever I freaking love pre-workout it's like my favorite thing ever then we have all of my baking stuff because it simply does not fit in our other pantry all of those containers are from Kmart and then below that we have all of these tubs that I repurposed that were originally in our pantry but obviously now here so we have extra water bottles protein shakers and then like extra protein shaker lids and little shaky things <laughs> and accessories like that and then down the bottom very random but we have a container of backstock which just has random kind of just like flour sugar stuff that doesn't fit in the containers above Liam has an extra protein package there for when he runs out we have our sandwich press because it doesn't fit anywhere else and then I just have baking accessories in these little bins. This was originally in our pantry, but I repurposed it to go under here instead. And then I just have all of my cookie cutters. That's what that little pantry looks like. I'm heading off to go have coffee with my mom. She finished work early today, so we're just gonna have a little bit of girl time, but I need to head off right now. Did I just end up in Bunnings? Yes. Did I just buy a new plant? Also yes, but she's beautiful, so it doesn't matter. Look at her in the back there. Absolutely stunning. All strapped in, of course, but it's time to go home. Good morning, my beautiful friends. It is Sunday today. Liam and I went out on a little date this morning, went out for breakfast, and then went to a plant nursery and just walked around, which was so lovely. I have been really loving plant nurseries lately and just plants in general, which you might have picked up. Um, I don't think I've even shown you my new plant yet, so I need to do that. I think I'm actually gonna go and repot some of my plants, so maybe I'll bring you guys along with me. But you guys know, Sundays are my Sabbath and I kind of just chill. I've just been kind of sitting working on my bullet journal for February. I thought I would do a little like pinky theme for Valentine's Day for February. The month of love, you know? Um, and also an excuse to do something pink because I love pink. So very boring title page, literally nothing going on there. But then we have my book tracker, just little hearts everywhere, honestly, my video ideas. And then my habit trackers. I live by my habit trackers. I think I've probably talked to you guys about them before, but I freaking love habit trackers. I feel like they really keep me in check and definitely help me reach all the goals that I want to reach. So my habits for February, if you're interested, are that I want to wake up at 5.30. And this isn't necessarily like every single day, but it's like most days, five to six days a week, I want to be doing these things. Wake up at 5.30 because I have found that that is like my magic wake up time. It's early enough that I still feel like I have a really productive morning, but it's late enough that I don't get tired throughout the day. Also, I think all but one of these habits are things that I was doing all of January as well. Um, the next one is that I don't want to go on my phone for the first hour when I wake up. Quiet times every day, read 10 pages of a non-fiction book every day, drink three liters of water every day, thorough skincare routine every day, Day. And the new one that I'm going to try out this month is less than four hours of screen time each day because my screen time has gotten a little a little over the top lately and I don't want to live like that. So we're going to try and rein that in a little bit this month. So that's what this side is for. But then this side is something new that I'm trying and this is to keep track of like my, I guess like my physical health kind of goals. So I think I'm actually going to do another Apple Watch perfect month or at least I'm going to aim to do a perfect month with my Apple Watch. So close my rings each day, which means I have to like work out each day and do all of those sort of things, even if it's just a walk. So I've got little trackers for the 
um, colors of the Apple Watch, so hopefully I'll be able to color those in every day. And then I'll say which type of workout I did. Do I do a walk? Did I do a run? Did I do upper body or lower body at the gym? I just think it would be interesting to track what my workouts look like, when I'm doing each workout, all that sort of stuff. And also, I soaked off my nails um, last night, the night before. I think it was Friday night. One of them cracked and like broke off. And personally, if one nail is broken, they've all got to go. I either want all of them on or all of them off. And I was kind of sick of the long nails. It was nice for a time. It was fun. But I had that time and I'm done with it. So I soaked them off and my nails look so tiny. And I feel like my hands look so weird now. Because I've spent the last three weeks with longer acrylic nails. But I think this is more me. I'm not really an acrylic nail kind of gal. It was fun like I said but I just don't think it's like a long term thing for me. I feel like it's a once every like five months kind of thing for me but yeah it was fun. But anyway that's what I've been up to. I think I'm gonna go repot some plants because I got a new pot for my fiddle leaf because I think it needs a bigger pot. I've had him for I think two years now. I got him from Costco and he's done a great job at staying alive. But I also got a new Monstera because my old one that I used to have in my office in my old apartment died during the move so we did get a replacement which sounds really mean but sometimes plants just have their time and this time I wanted to replace it so let's go pot some plants. We're really just not. It's too good. It's so good. Like I genuinely feel like I could eat Maccas every day. They definitely put like drugs in it. <laughs> Surely there's some sort of addictive Something thing in there. Want. 10 piece nugget meal as per usual guys. What do you expect? Coke no sug. Glass straw, because we're fancy. Sweet and sour sauce, which they did forget and Liam ran in to get for me, because this is the best. And I'm gonna watch Love Island. Perfect Sunday night. Currently re-watching old seasons and I am watching season six of the UK one, but I just wanna let you guys know, tomorrow Survivor season seven starts, Australian season seven. And I cannot describe to you how excited I am. Blood versus water, you guys know I'll be watching. Feel free to DM me, chat to me about it. I love talking Survivor, but we still have about 24 hours to go till then. I'm so excited. It's now Monday. I did forget to end the vlog, but hope you guys enjoyed this one. Haven't got any books to talk about this week, but that is because I have a reading vlog coming either later this week, maybe next week. But stay tuned because I have my thoughts of Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover and a bunch of other books as well. So I promise that is coming soon. But I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you in the next video very soon. Goodbye.